Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. As you guys know, we've been following the ISS live feed, and every once in a while we'll get these lines that people send in, and we, we take a look at the video footage and the lines that seem to be showing up in the atmosphere above the Earth, spanning for what appear to be hundreds, if not thousands of miles above the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean. This was observed from out above the Arabian Sea. Um, this video footage was sent in by, by Jennifer Ramos from just a few days ago. Now we're looking at that line that appears to be above India. But if you look real close, it doesn't line up perfect. And as you're going to see in some other photos that were sent in, still images, a lot of these lines where they meet don't line up perfectly. And here's a prime example. Looking at the line right here, stopping in this location, there's a pocket of blue on the left, and abruptly it turns white. You know, in a real sky, that would be impossible. That doesn't happen. So I'm going to show you guys some more examples of of what appear to be lines spanning across the earth. Look right here. Here's a couple of the lines um, that show up in these ISS live feeds, and they've been showing up for several months. I don't recall seeing these years back. This is something that, that at least it's new to me. I've had people share these recently within the last, I would say, 12 months. I've had several viewers send in photos and videos. Here's another example of the abrupt change. See the, the white, how it abruptly stops, and then you have blue, what appears to be ocean. That doesn't necessarily happen in a real sky where there's real wind and, and real clouds colliding with warm air and cold air. Um, that would be kind of difficult to do, you know, stop like that abruptly in the jet stream or something like that. That just simply couldn't happen. This segment here was sent in by Daniel Kane of something showing up in the sky off in the distance. I don't believe this is Jupiter or Venus because right now the position of, of Jupiter and Venus is in front of the sun and behind the sun. Traveling across the sky, Jupiter is behind the sun, Venus is in front of the sun. Not sure what those were, but good observation by Daniel. Like this video footage here you're looking at from the ISS live cam, what appears to be a version of one of the Starlink satellite trains. But as you guys well know that have seen these things, don't they look big? Look how big those things look. I mean, I suppose that's the most logical explanation for what we're looking at here. I don't know how else to describe them. It looks exactly like a Starlink satellite train. Starlink satellites don't normally look this big, at least from the ground. But I'm beginning to wonder what's really going on up here. Uh, to begin with, and I'm going to show you guys why. Um, and it was actually kind of disappointing. I, I, I wonder if they're trying to hide something. Um, it's just kind of weird. Again, we've been looking at these mysterious lines in the ISS live feed for several months. And I'll tell you what I think we're looking at here. This looks like a classic stitched together map. I was over here at zoom.earth and, and this is a flat view of the entire Earth, right? Well, you can't take a photo of the entire Earth, so you have to take segments of the Earth and stitch them together. And whenever this technique is used, and any time you're, you're making a map of the entire Earth, Earth, it's going to have this type of digital stitching. And here's another example like we just saw from the International Space Station. How the blue starts and the white abruptly begins, that wouldn't happen in a real atmosphere. That would be impossible. So this is over at zoom.earth. This is today and you can see the map is clearly stitched together. And look at the familiar lines. Don't they look similar to what we're seeing up here from the International Space Station? Look. They're identical. So that brings up the question, what are they doing up there? Are they trying to hide something? This is clearly a fake, guys. If this is indeed out over the Atlantic Ocean, that's a stitched together map, just like you see right here on zoom.earth. In fact, this is supposedly the North Pacific Ocean. Let's just go to the, the North Pacific Ocean and I'll show you the, the same stitching. We're down here in the, the South Atlantic, going across South America going out into the Pacific Ocean. It's dark, we're gonna to have to go to, there we go, daylight. Here's the North Pacific Ocean, and here's the familiar line. There's not only one, but there's two, another one over here, out in the North Pacific Ocean. Going back to the International Space Station, here's the North Pacific Ocean right here, and there's the familiar line. See it? 
This is a map. This is a fake. So there you have it, the mystery solved. We've been looking at these lines for, for several months out here, supposedly in the atmosphere above the Earth, and all along it's been a stitched together map, just like you see over here at zoom.earth, and you can find other examples like over here at Null School. There's an example of how you would take apart the Earth whenever you're looking at different areas of the Earth, different hemispheres and different quadrants of the Earth, and then when you put it back together, it makes a flat map. But there's always that stitching, even as good as Google Earth is, and Google Earth is, is excellent. You can still see the lines down here because they're putting together a map of the entire Earth. So they have to have stitching and overlay somewhere, especially at the bottom and the top. Let's just go look. I haven't even, yep, there you go. There's your line at the top of the Earth. So whatever's going on up here, this is not a live cam. This is fake. This is a stitched together map of the Earth. Whatever they're flying over is not the Earth.